Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm trying to uh, repair these deep scratches on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So at the moment, you can see here, I've got some quite deep scratches on the screen. Right here, they are very deep. And another one right here and one up here. So there are several uh, deep scratches on this iPhone 12. And I'm going to use the white stone dome glass because it has this liquid gel. So this liquid gels, hopefully, it will fill these uh, scratches. And after I applied the screen protector on, hopefully we can kind of like remove or at least hide that deep scratches. Now I'm going to try it out to see if it works or not. And if you do have the same problem, then perhaps. If it, if it does work, then at least you can try uh, to use the white stone dome glass to repair uh, the deep scratches. Or not repair, really, you're just really hiding the deep scratches with this uh, liquid uh, gel. So, okay, let's uh, begin. So, before we start, we should make sure on our table we have a flat surface area. We don't want the table to slide to one side. So, always working on a flat surface. You can see if it's, it starts sliding to one side, and that means we are not on a flat surface. So make sure the table is nice and flat. Okay, to begin, I will be using the masking tape to cover the side button, the volume buttons, the SIM tray, and the charging port. Now, we don't want any liquid adhesive to spill into the buttons that can cause damage to your phone. Now, this masking tape is provided uh, with the white stone packaging so just uh, cover them up push it down real tight make, it, make sure it is fully covered so i will go around the phone and cover up the charging port and the side key as well okay now i'm just going to open up the tray right here uh, the screen protector is placed inside the tray there are two bottles of the liquid adhesive gel you only need to use one the other one is uh, used as a backup there is also a masking tape for the ear speaker so we use it to uh, cover the ear speaker at the top right next to the front camera and this will prevent the liquid adhesive spilling into the earphone. Okay, so let's clean it up. Inside the package, there are wet clove and dry clove. So we use it to uh, first off clean the screen. I will apply the wet clove to the screen to remove any dust and any marks. Then we finish off with a dry microfiber cloth. So give it a real good clean and then place the phone in the tray. Make sure that you place it in the right direction. The top of the phone should be facing up near where it says speaker. So you should see it says speaker right there. Make sure the speaker match up with the bottom tray right there okay now we will place the observer pad on both sides of the phone this will help to observe any excessive liquid spill to the side next we use a dust remover to remove any dust that's still lingering around the screen So make sure there are no dust left, uh, otherwise when you put a screen protector on, it will form bubbles. Now insert the plastic tab at the top and we will put the bridge on. So this is the bridge to hold the adhesive liquid gel. Now open the pink color cap, don't worry, it will not spill until you release the black cap. And now we place the bottle into the bridge. To release the gel, 
we will open the black cap and that will release the gel onto the screen. Now you can see the liquid gel is moving to the right hand side a little bit. This is because the table is not perfectly level. So you want to make sure the table is always nice and level so that the liquid don't shift to one side. Allow the bottle to completely drain on the liquid. And next, we will be able to remove the bridge as well as the bottle. And after that, we are now ready to put the temper glass onto the tray. So I will now peel out the protective cover. So just pull it right back. Just be careful, do not allow any dust to attach to the screen. And then just place it on the tray on one end and the other end should be resting on the plastic tab. And now you need to press at the bottom of the screen that will cause the liquid adhesive to move down to the center of the phone. So just press it down at the bottom and the liquid should slowly move toward the center of the screen. Now because uh, the table is not perfectly level, that's why I'm going to put a piece of paper in uh, to make it level. So again, I will push the bottom of the screen and that will move the gel to the center. Once it hits the center of the phone, we move the plastic tab at the top. So now pull out the plastic tab and that will allow the tempered glass to collapse down against the phone screen and that will push the liquid adhesive and it will spread out to the edge of the device. Now this process can take up to a minute or two. Uh, just be patient, do not force or push the tempered glass down. Uh, that can cause a problem. Just allow the adhesive to slowly spread to the edge. Now I'm just tilting the phone a little bit to the side just so to allow the remaining uh, adhesive to spread all the way to the left hand side. Now again you can see I'm not pushing it down, I'm just uh, tilting, tilting the phone a little bit. Once that has uh, completely spread to the edge, you're now ready to cure it with a UV light. So place the UV light at the bottom for 15 seconds and then in the middle for 15 seconds and another one at the top for 15 seconds. Now after that, you can remove the UV light. You can take out your phone, remove the top tray. At this point, you can quickly clean the phone, remove any excessive gel that may spill to the side. In this case, uh, you can see uh, on my device, there is no uh, excessive gel. But if yours has some excessive gel that spread to the side, make sure you use a microfiber cloth to clean it up. Now to completely cure the screen protector, put the UV light at the bottom of the phone for 60 seconds and then move it to the top for another 60 seconds.
oh my oh my look at this it has completely covered the deep scratch now you can no longer see the deep scratch on the screen anymore i'm quite impressed now that i can remove the deep scratches as well as having the extra protection for the screen